a very happy dashera to all of you i hope you're all doing great welcome you all to the last 90 days to cat series in the last couple of videos we've seen set theory maxima minima and four set venn diagrams and today we are talking about a very very interesting puzzle from cat dilr which is also called coin picking puzzle let's set the premise first how many coins should you pick in order to win when the person to pick the last coin is the winner or the loser let's take a very specific example there are 200 coins on the table you and your opponent take turns to pick 1 to 10 coins in each turn how many coins should you pick in order to win to win any particular game you need to dominate or you need to control the game how will you control this game now what happens here let's say opponent picks one coin i pick 10 coin so the number of coins on the table reduces by a let's take a sum here reduces by 1 plus 10 that is 11 the opponent takes a 3 i take an 8 the sum again reduces by 11 the opponent takes a 5 i take a 6 the sum again reduces by 11 this is the number that i can control in this game to win this game can i take any other number can i control and reduce this by any other number let's take any other number let's say the opponent picks 1 i pick a 7 the sum reduces by 8 The opponent picks two. I pick a six. The sum reduces by eight. The moment the opponent realizes what you are doing, he picks up an eight. Now what you are going to do? Are you going to pick pick a zero? That's not possible, right? You can't control any other number but eleven. Eleven is really really special in such problems. And what is eleven? Eleven is the sum of minima and maxima. So eleven is the sum of minima and maxima. That is the number that you can control in such a game. Now that is how you will solve this question. Let's see. Now when the person to pick the last coin is the winner, I want to pick up the last coin, right? Now what do I want? I want my opponent to face a, a number 11 in the end. If my opponent faces 11, what happens? My opponent will pick up any number, let's say he picks up 1. I pick 10 and I win the game. Right? If my opponent is faced with the number 11, he picks up 2 i pick up 9 i win he picks up any number i pick up 11 minus that number and i win the game if i need my opponent to face 11 in the end and i know that i can control the number reducing on the table by 11 in that case my if my opponent faces any multiple of 11 i will know that i have won the game let me give you a very simple example let's say my opponent is facing 22 what happens he picks up any number of coin let's say he picks up two coin what do i do i pick up nine coin and i let him face 11 now he picks up any number i am going to win this he picks up five i am going to pick up six here and i am going to win this game is this absolutely clear so if my opponent is facing any multiple of 11 i am going to win the game now there are 200 coins on the table right so when you divide it 11 1 times 11 then you have 9 and 0 8 times is 8 is 88 so this is 198 so remainder is 2 so if i pick the two coins and i let my opponent face 198 coins i know that i can control this number reducing by 11 in every turn and hence i know that my opponent is going to face 11 coins in the end i have won the game right so how many coins should i pick when the person to pick the last coin is the winner I have to pick two coins here. Now let's talk about the second case. It's a very beautiful puzzle. I hope you're all enjoying this as much as I am. What's what's what happens when the person to pick the last coin is the loser? Now I don't want to be the loser. I want to win this game, which means that my opponent should be the loser. How will my opponent be the loser? There is only one coin on the table, and my opponent has to pick it up. There is no choice. Now what happens? if my opponent is facing one coin in the end and i know that in every round i can control this number reducing by 11 then my opponent in any particular round should face 11 n plus 1 right in the next round he will be facing 12 because i can control this number 11 in the other round he'll be facing 23 because i can control this number 11 so 11 n plus 1 is what I want my opponent to face in this case. I have 200 coins on the table. 
I know that 198 is a multiple of 11. Plus 1 is 199. I let the opponent face 199 coins. So how many should I pick up? I should pick up 1. So what's the shortcut here? Let's talk about the shortcut. It's very very simple. In the first case, I know that here I have 1 plus 10. If I define this number as let's say R, R is equal to 1 plus 10 which is 11. This is my controlling factor of the game, right? And I have 200 coins. Let's say this is N. In the first case, the answer is N upon R and you take a remainder. What happens in the next case? In the next case, it's N minus 1 upon R and then I take a remainder. The shortcut for the first one, N is 200 divided by 11. What is the remainder? Remainder is 2. In the second case, 200 minus 1 which is 199 divided by 11 what is the remainder remainder is 1 so in the first case i pick up two coins in the second case i pick up one coin i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for joining in god bless you all take care and bye bye